Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondak. It, it says that I wanted to eat her pussy, Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. His game plan is to use his speed. This is actually really unbelievable. I have been blown. This. Okay. Okay, ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, ow. Are you okay? Are you okay? M.A. M.A. Are you all right? Not really. 631 right now. I busted. got busted. Yeah. I was, it was going to happen eventually, right? Hey. Hey, first time in how many years? Yeah. yeah. Well, hello there, tall drink of water. Happy New Year's, people. Happy New Year. Say, say right. something to the nation. We got five minutes till 2014 and we're going to fuck shit up. Yeah. Whoa. You're going to watch your language now. This is a family no, channel, no. man. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Have fun. Happy New Year. Coming up, I'm right here in Times Square and I know he's here somewhere and I cannot wait for the moment I can say I met <laughs> I think it was the one that killed you. <laughs> Hi, you guys. So I'm here with Richard and Katie from the Utah Nordic Alliance of Utah, and you guys are teaching me how to cross country ski. So give us some base. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now I'm going to toss it back to you guys. I just slipped and fell. So we'll have more, but tell people the basics of coming up here and paying $7. Wow. It's hard cool. work out it there. It is hard work. Yes. I know. You can get, you can fall, but as long as you keep getting back up. Yes. Right? Cross country skiing is hard. State will be looking to grab Colorado State by the horns on Saturday. But those Rams are tough, just like the new Dodge Durango. With the 360 horsepower Hemi V8 and 7,400 pounds of towing capacity, the Dodge Durango is, this is video of football. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Yeah, so we've got some angry exchanges going on. Uh, Watch this. The mayor is meeting was still running. going on. The mayor oh sort of is attacked somewhere. Here. The mayor has... You're the one that almost hit my wife with the microphone I in the face? Not. Oh, you didn't? I hit your yeah. Wife. yeah. I honestly did yeah. not. You want to apologize to on camera? I asked you a question. You want to apologize to I asked you a question. Okay, get the out of here. Nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong, Alex. Nothing wrong. I do want to press charges against her. She assaulted my wife yesterday and almost hit her in the face. I want to press charges okay, against so the we'll blonde. Take, we'll we'll take take a, yeah. See that blonde woman? I want to press charges against her. Okay. Okay. Let's get her over here. Okay. She's the one I want to press charges against. You want to press charges against me? You want to press charges against me? You want to press charges against me? Okay. Our Lauren Padella is there live where dozens of people were forced from their homes. Lauren, good morning. I don't have IFB. I don't know when we're going. Neither does Jim. I can't get this fucking in there. We apologize for that. We apologize for that. Uh, we're having some technical difficulties with Lauren's uh, situation there. I actually leave, and I'm not, I'm not going to say it again. Bye, 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 I'm telling you, goodbye. Miss, we're on a podcast. I don't care. Goodbye. I'm going to tase your neck. I'm telling you, bye. I'm going to pop out you. Yeah, yeah, I will okay, crack okay. you. Okay. No, 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 I will no. knock this camera. I'm no, no, no. Don't, wait, wait. Don't you can't do that, please. please. No, you please. can't. Don't, don't, do don't, that. don't, don't do that. touch me. Please don't, don't, don't touch me. I got that. I got that. I got that. I've got her. I got her. No, I've got no, her. I, don't Whoa. record my house. I'm gonna knock the out you. Goodbye. I got it. I got it. We're Goodbye. gone. We're gone. Goodbye. We're gone. Water rates just went up. Would you, you'd probably be paying, along with your kittens, about 15 extra dollars. How do you feel about that? No kidding. Oh, you don't use any water. You don't like baths, huh? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to stop attacking my mic. Now that's just uncalled for. Well, this is inappropriate. Why is it?
that every time it snows, we whip out photos of our patio sets like we're showing off baby photos of our kids. Is that really the best we can do? We live in one of the most beautiful spots on earth, but we point our cameras toward the back porch. Yes, everyone is impressed you have a four-piece set. We saw it at Costco, too. Chair covers? Somebody got a raise. A grill? Nice. Three grills? Easy there, Bobby Flay. Is that a gazebo? Okay, that's kind of cool. But let's be more original the next time the snow flies. You can still feature your patio set, but if you like it, then you should have put a thing on it, like a disgruntled dog or your husband drinking a beer. Better yet, how about an action shot of the dog or the husband? You don't even have to turn the photo right side up. Just crop out the patio set. Oh, so close on this one. Listen. I know why we take photos of snow-covered patio sets. It's easy. Point your camera out the window and click. But are we really a state that takes the easy way out? We blasted a road through the Rockies. We put a cliff inside a Mexican restaurant. Our welcome sign is a demon horse with crazy laser eyes. We don't do easy around here. And you know what else? Coloradans are too optimistic to live in a prison of patio sets. What a sad way to celebrate the new season. Well, guess we can't sit outside on those anymore. If we asked you for pictures of springtime, would you really send us a photo of your skis in a closet? No, it's depressing. Come on, Colorado. We love winter. We own winter. The cabinet went on to explain that of the claims they're currently collecting, 25% were caused by the actual agency. Another 25% were actual fraud cases. Half of the claims are what they call inadvertent household errors. Thursday, Martin to 60 today. It'll be breezy and overcast out there, so it'll be a little bit chillier than the actual air temperature. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's not a pretty picture at all. A lot of rain here all the way from the Gulf up toward Canada. In fact, this low is going to head into Canada by later on tonight. And as it does so, it's going to strengthen. It's going to push that cold front our way. But notice where the front is. Notice where the showers are. So the front's not going to get here until late tonight. That's not the problem. The problem is these showers are so far out ahead of that that I think they're going to be getting in here by this afternoon and evening. Turns chillier for the weekend. 58 on Saturday. Increasing clouds. There's a shower possibility in the afternoon. Just spotty stuff. Nothing major. And then a mountain shower on Sunday. The rest of us will clear out. Only 54, though. Bone chilling. <laughs> Next week... Dry as a bone. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Mark Martin would enjoy these puns, by the way. 59 on Monday and back up to 70 by next Wednesday. Really a cool environment, guys. So we're going to send it back to you in the toasty warm studio. Cloud drivers like it. They've been able to come in and really clear the streets really nicely. In fact, they've cleared it so much that people have uh, put on their scarves and their hats and their big coats. And we've seen a couple of people walking down the street now that they've been plowed. We've seen a couple of people jogging down the street. Um, and, they, and they are on the street because the... Uh, the uh, sidewalks are still pretty thick. Now, we spoke to some people earlier today about... Um, no one's going the exact speed limit. I would say around 40 miles an hour. People, some people are going even slower than that. <laughs> so it's extremely slippery. I actually just fell on the pavement, and that's the same thing that's happening on the roadways. I did buy some ice cream bars, and I said to Bridget, the videographer I'm working with, we have to eat these really fast because they're not going to stay frozen. And